we now have almost 200,000 campaigns completed. Everything is pretty smooth. One of the things that I really honestly excites me about Blast is because I feel like when you can be early at something, right? I get excited when I see a new chain that's innovating and doing stuff that hasn't really been done to the extent that they're doing. And then also has a team that's already proven that they're successful with their prior project that basically turned into the number one platform in the industry for that. Tornado, what you guys up to? Shipping a lot of new features this week, a lot of new features for Trader. Amazing, bro. Yeah, definitely. I've just been so busy with my stuff that I haven't had a chance, but I'll oh, definitely, definitely come and check it out. And we got Blast Score. These guys are killing it too. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up? What's up, everyone? So yeah, it's been a hard week for us, but we won't stop shipping until the main that we've recently launched our quest platform on the main domain and people, they started doing this quest. They actually helped us a lot. We now have almost... 200,000 campaigns completed. So that's crazy Ooh. to me. Everything is pretty smooth. Nice, nice. That's awesome. When I tell people, I'll be honest, it's been a little bit difficult because like all people really have is the airdrop farming portal and like the bridging, the blast website, because I know everyone's just been cooking, right? Like behind the scenes, everyone's just been building, building, building. But I think over the next couple months, people are going to really be surprised. In my opinion, I think blast is one of the biggest dark horses as far as the L2s. There's a lot of attention economy on it, but in some senses, it's still under the radar because it's not on mainnet yet, right? When it does launch and it has all these people that have been building on it, I think you you're going to see a lot of people bridging over and you've got the native yield aspect, right? You literally earn yield just for having your tokens on blast. Average, what's your opinion on blast, bro? To me, when you see people like Pac-Man that have kind of a history of being really successful at capturing attention in the market, that's always a safe bet for me. You know, it's no different with blast. He announced blast and just a billion dollars moved instantly from other places in the market to being locked on blast. So, you know, I think if you're building, or if you're trying to anticipate where the next move is, you have to consider not only just like someone that's successful at moving massive amounts of people to certain places, but you see kind of the commitment that people have made with their feet and their dollars already by going and locking up their money on the chain. So I think it's going to be big. One of the things that I really honestly excites me about Blast is because I feel like when you can be early at something, right? Think about it. Let's just take the broader crypto space in general. Let's just look at crypto as a whole. What's the main goal? Let's say you're just a trader, not a builder you want to be early to things you want to get an edge so like if you're a builder or you're a project and you can be early to a chain and kind of grow and scale with that chain you put yourself in a good position so like i get excited when i see a new chain that's innovating and doing stuff that hasn't really been done to the extent that they're doing and then also has a team that's already proven that they're successful with their prior project that basically turned into the number one platform in the industry for that and i think nfts assets and all different types of trading and meme coins all of that stuff has a place on blast this can be like a dgen playground but also they are using the OP stack and that's proven to be a really powerful L2 that a lot of people like using. I think a lot of people see the same kind of view that I have and that's why so many people are planning on deploying there.